Hi garden friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Era and this is Gardening on Purpose. I garden in Georgia, Zone 8A, where I do gardening related videos. Today, I'll be continuing a series where I'll be highlighting every single type of plant in my yard. And for today, it's the beautiful Nandina. I've got one type of Nandina in my yard and it is the beautiful Obsession Nandina. This one I really, really like. This one here is a full sun plant and it grows three to four feet by three to four feet. It is, it says it's a part shade plant, but I've noticed that it does well if I keep it in the sun until at least by two and it's not in the sun, it's not getting burnt up, it will do really, really well. Now, this plant was fiery red not too long ago, and then the new growth is coming back again, so which is going to give me another round of fiery red. And this is really not my first go around with Nandina. I had bought the same obsession, and I had put it in a container, and... It was a mistake. It didn't do one of that container at all. And it was a clay container too, so that might mean something. I'm not sure. So those died. And then I bought these last year, and they have been doing really, really well. I bought these in a 2.5 quart. And as you can see, it has doubled in size from when I bought it. Look at that beautiful plant, guys. It has this beautiful red new growth. So this beauty here... Look at that, guys. Now, I know Nandinas are invasive um, in certain parts of the country and the different types of Nandina. The obsession is not invasive where I am. It doesn't get munched on anything. It seems to be okay with at least part sun, even though the tag says part shade. And it doesn't need a lot of water, pretty much medium water, you know, and I, I've never had to clip on this plant because first of all, it's, it's young. I don't have to prune on the plant at all. And it's looking quite fine to me. Look at that beauty, guys. Now I have one right here. And then if I move a little further over on the same bed, I have another one here. And then I also have two more I just recently put on, found, on my foundation. I had gotten Nandinas on clearance at Lowe's. <clears throat> As per usual, I go to Lowe's and every time I go to Lowe's, I get a clearance plant. The, my Lowe's is really, really great when it comes to providing clearance plants. And I have those on my foundation. And those are a little bit bigger because I got them in a two gallon. But these were in a 2.5 quart and they have doubled in size already ready guys again this is the beautiful obsession nandina with this brilliant red new growth let me know if you have this nandina or any type of nandina in your yard and how it does it is but I believe the hardiness zones is zone six to 10. Yes, that's what it is, six to 10. So it'll grow in a lot of people's uh, climates and weather. And if, it, if you don't think it's gonna work, you know, try it out maybe in a container and see how it does. I wouldn't recommend a clay or a terracotta because that's what I had it and I felt like the plant just struggled. But then again, it might be me, you never know. Anyway guys, please like, please share, please subscribe. And remember, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted on my new videos. I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.